Welcome to my new uh, video on drawing the human figure and what we're going to do this morning is construct the human figure from the basic shapes um, starting with the torso here we're going to just say well this is the rib cage and uh, we're starting with a basic square and then an, a circle for the abdomen area and a triangular for the pelvic area and we're going to see how this builds up into a three-dimensional form um, so the next part it's important to uh, look at the body as a solid object so we're looking at now how the um, rib cage is formed uh, in very basic shapes just start getting used to drawing these basic shapes and um, the spheres coming next and just make sure there's depth in the uh, whole of the body we're going to construct these put them together in a few minutes but just get used to making these shapes because the depth of the pelvis and the depth of the uh, rib cage about the same and it's important as well after moving on just practicing that shape to make our forms much more organic and so this next part is about creating that so the organic form think about stretching and curving the different elements of the solid form and um, just bringing that in just to make it more like a, the shape of a rib cage and uh, make sure you, you could see understand that there's a little bit of depth to it so i'm putting in here the background or the back of the back uh, just to make it a solid form but much more organic in feeling and the, the sphere again is, is very similar to the obviously it's the same as the um the solid form but now the pelvis is much more um sort of cup shape um, the, v, the V sort of curves around and uh, we've got it more sort of cylindrical but then tapering off to the cone uh, of the pelvic area and uh, just practice doing that now uh, how we piece these things together is um, by we'll just do it with the uh, flat forms to start with um, and what we do is we place, cut a little V shape into the rib cage. If you imagine that underneath the rib cage, and so the abdomen and the pelvic area um, fit snugly up to one another and up into the uh, rib cage. Uh, this is a solid version. So just again, making sure that we've got a three dimensional view and also a three dimensional view of the, the, the area where the rib cage. Um, tapers upwards and so we can fit the abdomen up into it and then the V shape of the pelvis this is again it's just a, a, a very simple form um, in men it's uh, narrower than the uh, top of the shoulders and in women it's uh, the pelvic area is a bit wider but we'll come on to that when we, when we join the whole thing together but the advantage of doing um, the uh, torso in this way is that we're going to be able to move around the abdomen area and the pelvis and the rib cage all move around the um, the abdomen area and so that is our will become our pivot point making sure now we've just we've got some nice organic shapes for the top of the uh, rib cage and the proportions don't worry about those too much to start with um, but as you can see they're about equal um, moving from the top to the bottom. Here I'm just putting in the sort of center lines of the um, of the different parts of the object. So I don't know you can see now how that rib cage is fitting into the um, pelvic area. Now the next part is uh, making um, all these move around each other. And so we're going to just practice now. Now the whole idea of, of this part of the, the course is to practice and to build up a design sheet um, just of how we can get that pivoting area around the abdomen. So here we're going to draw the, the um, ribcage facing in a different direction. The V shape of the abdomen area and then the pelvis can come down. We can see I've drawn, drawn in the center line. It's gonna show the sort of movement of the figure, movement of the body. And like I said, it doesn't matter too much about the, um, 
proportions at the moment, what we're looking at is just getting a feel for how the whole body can move around that pelvic, uh, the, around the abdomen, abdominal area. Starting with the uh, abdominal area here, we're just going to face the, pelvic, uh, the rib cage in a different direction towards the right, and then the pelvis just cupped into the abdomen area. Right. Uh, I'm just going to try and twist the whole thing around so there's got, we've got a much more sort of curvy dance sort of move, motion going on. And I suggest that um, as you're watching this, you just try the different areas. Start at the bit right at the beginning of the um, just to get an understanding of the different forms that are occurring in this torso area. And this is where all our movement will come from, just to get the movement of the body. Uh, we'll come on to arms and legs in a little while, uh, but keep on just using your imagination to see how far you can twist that, those shapes around. I'm just putting in the lines of the directions of the uh, figure. A console, what we call a contrapunto uh, view. Pose. I would suggest that you, you completely fill a, a the, you know the, the paper that you're working on. Obviously, I'm working digitally at the moment, but this can be done in pencil or on paper, um, and uh, with any sort of media. Just but always remember it to put in the thickness of the form so you get a, 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 an idea of the, 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 the scale of the body. And now we're just going to look at um, drawing the torso again uh, in its different ways, make it a little bit organic. But how do we put the skin on the body? So where is that going to go now? Because we, obviously we've drawn a, a, you know, the, the, the thick uh, thickness and the forms, but now we want to just layer on where this one's going to go. We drop it down from the neck. Uh, we're going to leave space for the arms. It's, you can see that the, it's just like a piece of cloth draping over the figure itself. Draw it in different directions. form here just twisting slightly and how's that cloth going to drape over I do leave a little bit of a gap for the neck and how that um, the skin is going to just form flow over the belly there and then down to the pelvic area I might be putting some legs either side here we go again Center line, the, the, the twist of where, where the form's going, and now just with a little bit of a brighter color. Show how that the shoulders come down from the neck, with a gap for the arms, let that skin hang off, and just come around the shape and the form of the body. Put about the middle part a little bit, putting a bit of the, the, the uh, External notch there, uh, and the bow. Now, arms and legs. Here we go with arms and legs. Start again with well, just as normal that we've done at the beginning of this uh, video with uh, basic cylindrical forms, both the arms and the legs, basic cylinders. And so, just practice. I've shown an early video about how you create ellipses and uh, cylinders. So, um, just do a bit of practice creating. These are different angles, so you can see more at the top of the cylinder, uh, less at the bottom. Very, very simple cylinder fo cylindrical forms. You just get your, your arms and uh, your, the flow of your pen or pencil, whatever it is, uh, to create your cylinders. Just create those. Spend a few minutes practicing that. So 
Or was it a good idea just to check the, the base of the cylinders to make sure they're not uh, angled too much now? Um, obviously arms and legs they are much more uh, fatter at the, or thicker at the, at the root of them and they taper to the, say the elbow or to the, from the elbow to the wrist. And so this is what we're just trying here, the same with the thigh. Uh, going down to the knee and then the knee down to the ankle. Um, so all, all a cylinder is, the taper cylinder is, is a larger ellipse at the top and a smaller one at the bottom. And here what we're going to do is we're just going to twist it a little bit so we're, we're not doing them as straight forms anymore. We're just going to move the angle of the uh, ellipse so we can create a curved tapered cylinder. in all sorts of directions and we'll see in the next video how we're going to um, attach all these elements to the torso Thank you for listening, we'll see you in the next video.